Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I am sharing with you how I get two different hairstyles using one set of Velcro rollers. So ever since I've cut my hair, I've been kind of playing around with different ways that I like to wear it. Um, with long hair, I feel like there's so many different styles that you can do with it. And with like shorter, medium length hair, I feel like it can almost feel like where do I style? So I went through a phase where I loved the center part with ringlet curls. I have a video of that tutorial, how I do that. I will link it in the cards below in the description box below. I still love that look, but I like to play up different looks every once in a while. And I've been loving using Velcro rollers to achieve a fun sort of blown out look. So I had created a tutorial. Um, I think I have two Velcro roller hair tutorials on my channel um, for longer hair, but I wanted to play around with my short medium length hair now. So I had to actually get smaller rollers. I will link these exact ones on Amazon. They were super, super cheap. Velcro rollers are really cheap. I like this set. It came with little bobby pins as well to secure the rollers. Since I have really fine hair, I have to use uh, bobby pins to secure them. But absolutely love this size and have loved the look um, that it's given me and I've played around with two different curling irons so I played around with doing a one inch barrel as, as using a one and a half inch barrel so you can obviously see the size difference using the same roller you still can achieve a different look to the hair so I've really enjoyed kind of switching that up and playing that up using obviously the larger one you receive more of just that like large blowout sort of look where if I use the smaller one you can see is today I have a little bit more definition and a bit more volume towards the ends um, and just a bit more of like a bouncier look so completely love both ways and I wanted to share with you them because I do a lot of try on fashion styling hauls and I see a lot of people asking how I do my hair so I wanted to go ahead and put this up for you guys um, the other things that you'll need obviously I use some hairspray I use hairspray because I typically do this style when my hair is freshly clean um, and I have very fine hair I have a lot of hair but it's really fine so I like to add a little bit of texture to my hair by using some hairspray I love this Kenra hairspray it gives you hold but it doesn't make your hair feel like super stiff and gross so. and then just a brush and clip of your choice to section off the hair so super super easy so if you are curious to see how i create my hairstyles two different ways using velcro rollers then just keep watching all right so let's start with look number one with the hot rollers shake it out i washed my hair last night so it's kind of like in that what do I want to say that that phase of like it's just so soft and doesn't feel like grippy I let my hair air dry overnight so for that reason and that reason alone I'm going to use a little bit of hairspray to kind of give my hair some texture and some grit so that the rollers stay in it and that the curl has something to adhere to if that makes sense so I just take and do kind of a light spray My hair's gonna look crazy. I find this really necessary because I have super fine hair, but once you get it all shaken through, I go ahead and brush it to just kind of brush out some of the crazy volume that I just gave myself plus distribute it through. All right, so once I'm done that, I'm gonna go ahead and section off my hair um, to start the process. All right, so the first section I like to do is my crown. Um, I just find that it's easier to keep this hair once it's up, keep it out of my face while I do the rest of it. So I just kind of take and do a section up at the top and then just to make sure that it's easy, go ahead and clip it up out of the way. That way it's easiest to work with. Okay, so I have my first section. It's going to depend on sectioning, depending on the thickness of your hair, um, a lot of things. I feel like truly, truly it's trial and error the more you try this out. The first time I tried this out, I'm not even gonna lie to you, I feel like I looked like George Washington. It was not a look. But the more I practiced, the better it got. So you really have to figure out what works best for you. And today's look, we're going to be using this. All right, so this is a one and a half inch curling iron. I got this on Amazon for, I want to say it was like 20 bucks. I'll have it linked down below. Um, but I really love the size of this barrel. This is going to give that, that looser, more like blowout look versus like legit curls. So I know some people don't use heat 
when they velcro roll i do though so that's just me i feel like it holds my velcro rollers longer or holds my curls and the volume longer when i curl it so i don't curl it for super long but i go ahead and just make sure my ends are fully in and just kind of put some warmth on it so that the roller can just set the hair I curl at the middle or put the roller at the middle of the hair and pull up making sure super important to roll the ends in your velcro roller so you don't get crimpy crimpy ends okay and i secure with a bobby pin again if you don't these come with bobby pins but again if you have really thick hair then you might not even need to secure it you might just be able to wiggle it and it'll attach to your hair that's the whole purpose of velcro rollers but for me and my fine hair it doesn't work so anyway i feel like if i have these issues maybe some of y'all have these issues with velcro rollers okay next piece again starting at my crown and then i work down brushing through every piece you want to make sure that you obviously don't have any knots in your hair it's gonna give you the smoothest look because whatever you set in your roller is what it's gonna be so make sure that you're cautious with that this is one big one because I really just want volume back there so I go ahead and do that sometimes I will take a large roller but today for the sake of this video I'm just showing you how I've been wearing it recently which is this way so go ahead and pull up making sure that you get your ends all the way through and roll all the way down and you just want to make sure that it's warm to the outside once it's warm to the outside you can go ahead and release let's go ahead and release and hold that curl in your hand it's going to make obviously wrapping it in the roller a lot easier again take the roller about halfway through your hair lay the hair flat on the roller and pull up and through Again, wrapping your ends around the roller and just rolling towards the head. You want to make sure that the roller is either straight up or even facing the opposite way of the curl. It's going to give you the most lift and volume at the root. And then secure the bobby pin. All right, so that is the top of my head. Just two on the top, and then we're going to go ahead and move through the rest. Okay, so put the clamp right in the middle of the hair. Roll it through moving it while you, twisting it while you roll, and hold it there till it's warm. Again, flip it down. Doesn't really matter which way you curl it, because honestly, the roller is going to set it in the way that you roll it. Okay, tuck those ends, and make sure you tuck those little baby hairs that kind of like fall down maybe with a pin and then let's just go ahead and continue the rest of the hair working around in little chunks We are down to our last two rollers and this whole process like filming it and everything has only taken me 15 minutes um, while also doing the talk through so I feel as though this look I could set it or like do it set it in probably like 10 minutes and then the beauty with velcro rollers is um, then you can go on and do other things like Sometimes I do my makeup while I'm letting my rollers sit. Um, so you can do other things because your hands free. Alrighty, and there you have it. So you can let it sit for really truly as long as you want. Um, but the, big the biggest thing is you just want to make sure that they're cool to the touch before you do go ahead and remove them, but they're super quick and easy. I feel like they give you a very similar look to a hot roller, but a hot roller takes a lot longer to cool down. Um, I don't know there's pros and cons with everything but I'm just gonna go ahead and let it sit for a little while but this is a perfect time to go ahead and do your makeup if you have not done your makeup already so let's go ahead let this sit and I'll show you what the results look like all right so we're back it's been actually 
quite a bit of time. I got busy doing other things. But like I said, it doesn't really matter how long um, you leave it in as long as it cools. So let's go ahead and start removing. I start from the bottom. Just remove the pins and pull down. So you can see a you know, pretty smooth rolled under look, which is what I go for. And then last but not least, my top sections. All right, so there it is. I just like play around with it a ton and kind of do big sweeping side part typically is what I do with this hairstyle. But you can see it just gives a big, like, blown out sort of look. Not huge defined curls, just kind of, like, body to the hair. I love it. So, you can obviously go ahead and fix up any curls if you need to. Um, if you feel like some of your ends didn't get fully curled or something like that, you can, this is when you can go ahead and touch up any little spots. So I always like to keep my curling iron nearby. But yeah, that's it. I love it. I love the look that it gives me. And I feel like because it sat and really cooled in those rollers, this will last in my hair for quite a while. Um, this sort of just blown out look with a smooth underneath. I really love it. So that is hairstyle number one that you can achieve with a one and a half inch curling iron and these little Velcro rollers here. Now let's go ahead and skip to another day and a different hairstyle. All right, I know I just realized that I'm wearing the exact same sweater or sweatshirt as it was in the previous clips as well. It's a completely different day. Another hair wash day. If you're like me, you live in a new sweatshirt when you get one. So. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into the second way that I curl, and this is with a one inch barrel. Same Velcro rollers, same technique, just using a smaller barrel and you will see the difference in the curls. It's much more bouncy, much like more defined curls. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, again, just go ahead and spray through the hair. If you have fine hair, this really helps with the hold as well as if it was super clean so I just washed my hair yesterday so again same thing as the last video I like to just kind of add a little bit of hairspray to give it something to stick to same thing we're gonna section off this top crown of the head it's basically the exact same way as I did um or with the large curling iron up in the middle of the hair roll down pull up And same thing, middle of the hair, roll down, pull up, roll down, release the clamp and pull up. You really do want to get all of your ends in there. You don't really want to leave any out, so let's do that. Warm to the touch. I prefer this look like second day third day it's just a little bit less curly crazy but it's still really fun the first day as well then pull forward roll the ends and wrap okay secure the pin then I split into two sections on either side Start grabbing hair and go. So towards the front of the face and the top of the head, I do tend to grab a little bit smaller of pieces, but towards the bottom of the head, I grab larger pieces. And that's surely for the fact that I don't have enough rollers to do all my head in super small, but you still get this, get a different look. So it's not, um, that big of a deal but yeah towards 
certain sections I will like alternate and do some larger chunks of hair and then others will do some smaller chunks of hair and that just kind of gives a more natural look but it also ensures that I don't run out of rollers. And once you get good at this you can totally do different like ways of which you wrap your hair is another fun way to like play this up. You'll see um, in this one I'm kind of wrapping it a little bit away from the face. Um, just because I can notice these smaller curls will definitely um, like roll in but I also always curl my hair away from my face because I don't know about you but I hate it all coming up towards my neck. I know some people really like that but I don't personally but you can totally change that by the way you roll in the rollers. You can change that by the way you curl, the direction of your hair. So I would say once you've mastered one that's when you can start to play around. Sometimes I will use the rollers to um, or underneath the bottom layers I will flip the rollers under um, to give it a different look, like a little, still do it like under or over the hair, over on the top, and then I will just do the bottom row with it flipped, um, under, so for a little bit different of a look. Alright, so once it's all set, you just let it sit again for as long as you need to, um, but at least for as long as it takes to have all the hair cool. Um, so that took me like another 10 minutes. And yeah, we're gonna just let it chill. This is typically when I would do my makeup, but I'll show you the final result once. Alright, it's sat, it's cooled. Let's go ahead and remove, and I'll show you. Finalized look. You can already see it just like it holds more of that ringlet form. Okay. So as you can see, just a whole lot more volume and curl definition from those same rollers, just using a different curling iron. Oh, I absolutely love this. All right, you guys, so that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope this video was helpful and kind of helped you get you some different ideas on how to style your hair using Velcro rollers. I know some people don't use heat when doing Velcro rollers. I personally do. I think it gives me the longest, like longevity of my bounce and my blowout sort of look. So I hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful. If you want to see more hair tutorials and things like that, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what other hairstyles you would like to see. I love you guys so much and I'll see y'all in my next video.